Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what is up? The King U of Lightning is here today. You all know the drill. Bleach! Taite Kubo's finest work. <laughs> Chapter 639, Baby Hold Your Hand, Dose. Now, <laughs> the, the first page, man. Of course, I'm on the stream. The first page right here, Myrie. You see, he's a little bit shaken up, breathing hard. The hand is dripping blood. What a shoddy job. It's been such a long time since I performed a one-arm operation on myself. There's no accounting for rust, I guess. Pretty unsightly. And Pernita responds unsightly. So, Myri obviously going very hard. Had to do that in order to, you know, prevent the nerve control via Pernita. And I'm going to dive right in. And by the way... Last week I was going to do a discussion video on Bleach, but last week was a very busy week for me, honestly. So I'll do it tomorrow. And right here, the side text. As Myri and Pernita exhaust each other's clever schemes, their offensive and defensive teeters back and forth with his long ass side comment. With his surgically altered one arm, Myri's counterattack begins. All right, so let's dive right into the chapter. Pernina's talking shit. Sounds like you no longer as confident as you were before. Okay, young buck, is that a challenge? Well, I do say I shall take you up on that offer. So, Myri's gonna pull out some funky shit as always. So the pinky that Myri blew off is now growing other fingers out of it, which is the, the pinky grows a whole new hand. Like, like seriously, like the pinky grows a whole new hand and it's lunging at Myri. I don't know what the fuck Myri threw, but he just said, nope, boom, explosion. So the digit I tore off became an entirely separate left hand. This means chopping you up into little pieces is definitely out of the question. So this guy, he can make like multiple. If you chop Pernina up into like a hundred parts, will you get like a hundred Pernina hands coming your way? Is that what I'm getting? Fucking Pernina ripped off its own middle finger. Bro. That was impressive. Oh man, it looks bad. Ooh, it looks, it looks very bad. Yikes, yeah. Could you imagine your life without a pinky and a in- Oh, no. 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 Oh my god, you'd be like fucking Drake from One Piece, right? Oh, oh no. Mm. Pernina's doing more shit. What the fuck is Pernina doing? Pernina's getting a bloody eye. Something's happening. And Mari recalls reading something in his youth. The Soul King's right hand is stillness. His left hand governs progress. The fuck? What? Isn't that so? And we see Mari, you know, back in the day, when he's a fine young chap, still weird as fuck. <laughs> you saw this guy in the library, you turn the opposite direction and you don't look back. And so Myers is going on about how basically he doesn't like to commit to something unless he can actually see it for himself. And he's just loving the idea that he's actually able to see this. Reading a book and actually seeing for yourself are two different things. Okay, so we have multiple Perninas. We have basically three left arms. And one of them is missing, of course, two fingers. And the main Pernina body has two eyes well at least it has two pupils and the other ones i think only have one like you can see right here you have the two pupils of perninda on the right and then well that's my right your left and then you have the other one the clone with only one pupil yo i wonder if freaking what if the other hands can remove their fingers and then clones of the left hand or arm also come out of their fingers because that would be just Ridiculous. Like, that'll be some Elg level shit. Maybe. 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 Probably not. No, 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 no. But still, be crazy. No, oh, and he still has the fucking Hirenikaku. Yo, I, yo, man. He's still rocking them hover boots. Yeah, I love it. Yo, Mari. Okay, it's been, it's been some time. Going Bankai. Yep. Yumichika's like, oh, fuck. This is bad. It's time to get the fuck out of the area. I don't want to get... Here with that poison gas. And we're actually getting some intel from Yumichika on the Bankai. 
So not only can it crush opponents with its massive size, but it's also able to release poison covering approximately 200 meters radius. What the fuck is that? What, what? What, what, ew? <laughs> what? Demon womb wrapped in disease? What? Oh my god. I mean, I knew the guy made modifications, but I wasn't expecting something like this. It's weird, man. It's, yeah, it's like some type of like baby demon that is, I think, male. Whatever, it looks male, but its stomach is like, it has this giant scar going down the stomach. It has l horns and lanterns attached to the horns. Mari, what? the fuck are you doing like this guy is a whole new level of what the fuck and honestly i got the feeling that something gross is gonna come right out of there I, you know what it is I, I, I'm, I'm calling it right now something really really gross is coming because i mean the title demon womb wrapped in <laughs> disease oh Mm, oh, this is gonna be bad, man. This is gonna be some Bloodborne type of shit. I know it is, man. Oh, my, Myri, I think is going full-blown Lovecraft. You know, fuck it, hold on. Wait, let me just continue reading. Shit. I redesigned the, I mean, like, the fact that you could actually reconfigure, like, your Zanpato. I, I thought that Myri, I mean, I thought that Nimaya was, like, the only one who could take, you know, new Asauchi and then reforge them into, like, you know, new Zanpato and shit like that. He, Myri, is, no, no, I reconfigured my Bankai. I changed shit up entirely. So let me, let me see if the fuck he reconfigured it, too. I redesigned the Golden Leg Jizo by, impl by implanting the demon womb wrapped in disease. What the fuck is that? It is a complete metamorphosis of the Golden Leg Cutter Jizo and its ability by using all information that I send it during a battle. It is able to give birth to the new Golden Leg Jizos. Okay, well, what the fuck is the demon womb wrapped? Like, what is that? Like, how the fuck do you implant a demon womb? So let me just turn the page and see what the fuck happens. Cause, cause this is weird, man. All right, next page. Baby fucking crying. Ugh, yeah, that's nasty, dog. Nah, man, that's nasty. Yeah, that's nasty, dog. Yeah, that's gross. I fucking told you, man. Something nasty is coming out of that fucking womb. Ugh. So it's another version of his Bankai. And from what he was saying about the whole information, well, is he saying that his Bankai took information from the battle against Perninda and is now able to fight against Perninda's abilities? Like, is, is, is that what he's saying? So this version of his Bankai has its nerves right on the surface of the skin and it's fucking screaming its head off. So, oh my God. So if the nerves are on the surface of the skin, that means that when it fell down, oh man, it must be extraordinarily painful. That one fall. Oh, that had to hurt a fucking lot, man. Jesus, Mario, what the fuck? Yo, this guy's mad fucked up. So yeah, fucking this baby, this this Bankai, essentially feels pain, extraordinary pain, whenever it's exposed to the outside element. But that's neither here nor there. Like, this guy's fucked up, man. Like, like he's sick. Like, I thought that Kyoraku was a messed up dude, because he would attack motherfuckers like mid-fight and shit. I'm like, dude, that's mad dirty. That's mad fucking grimy, man. But this dude, Myri, I mean, he puts every, he puts Aizen's experiments to shame, dude. All of Aizen's shit that he did when it came to experiments and when it, I mean, the fact that Yuha still has Heidi Bell chained up. And he's doing messed up shit. You know he's doing some messed up shit. That's got nothing. Aizen, Yuha, anybody. It got nothing on Myri, man. Myri is just the pinnacle of fucked up in Bleach. Jesus Christ. His Bankai has 7,000 different epidermal layers. In other words, if you manage to integrate yourself into its nerves, the epidermal layers will simply shed itself, and then that's the end of that. The fucking Bankai's baby face is being peeled off. Patches of fucking skin and layers, epidermal layers, are being peeled off. Oh my 
And the Bankai is already feeling excruciating pain just of being exposed to the outside elements. Having its skin being peeled off. And the wailings. My God. And the Bankai is consuming Pernindo. And Myri is saying essentially that it's pointless, right? Like now that you're being consumed, literally consumed by my Bankai, you're now fucked. Because you have to work your way through all 70,000 epidermal layers of nerves before you're swallowed whole. And it looks like Perninda is being swallowed whole. Perninda is being consumed. Myri has this face of absolute glee. Yes, I have a new toy. And he's slurping. Mm. Having swallowed his opponent, it would seem that the battle is decided. Or has it? Oh, oh my god, came out. Oh, oh, mm. I wonder if the battle's finished. Mm -hmm. And then you have Nemu there. Just watching. That's a chapter. So, I'll do my review at some point later, obviously. Because I'm already, you know, behind on the live reaction, I guess. But, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. And that's all. So, King Lightning. Fucking Myri. God, God, God damned Myri. The madness continues. Oh, so, does that mean that... Does that mean that Myri can actually, like, alter his Bankai every time for a different opponent? Like, can you actually do that? Like, I, I don't know. Like, is that like a... Like, is this new Bankai fact baby thing, or is it just the demon womb thing? And then for every different opponent, it can change. You see what I'm saying? But he first has to fight without his Bankai to get intel, to get data, before he can actually, you know, have the Bankai do its thing. That's my guess. But then again, I'm not too sure. But we'll find out at some point. So that's how I'm done. King Lightning, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Have a nice goddamn day.